He rose to the ranks of the Bolshevik Revolution. He was utterly, in the most unalloyed sense, the most ruthless man in Russia. He would do anything to advance what he thought were the goals of the revolution and to advance his own personal place in it. In many ways, the Russian people were saved by him uh, at the beginning of World War II because of his steel will. He took the name Stalin because the man of steel. And when the Germans turned and began to invade Russia, they underestimated Joe Stalin. He stayed in Moscow even though they got within 40 miles of the center of the capital. And when Stalingrad, the battle for Stalingrad began, he gave orders that can only now be described as the most blood-curdling, ruthless orders imaginable. No one will abandon their post. And over the course of that fight, which went on for almost two years, almost a million people perished. And they had 400,000 people in a Russian battalion who were the enforcers. So if you thought you might give up, you'd get shot. And here, I think, is the most devastating portrait of Stalin of all. The siege of Stalingrad was so great, there was no food on either side. So the German soldiers would give little children who were residents of Stalingrad a crust of bread if they would fill their canteens from the Volvo River. And as the children came back into Stalingrad, they were shot by Stalin snipers. That's how he consolidated his power the most uh, feared man in Russia and with very good reason.